In this video, I want to show you an amazing book that you can use to learn calculus on your own. What makes this book special from other calculus books is that it does not require trigonometry. Also, it contains topics from Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Calculus 3. So if you know some algebra, you can use this book to teach yourself calculus. Also, this is a reputable book. It's written by Larson, and Larson has written other calculus books that are very similar to this one that use trig that are used in colleges and universities in the U.S. today. Now, this one is also used today, but it's probably not as popular because less people study calculus with no trig. Typically, it's business majors and stuff like that. But this book is great if you want to learn how to use calculus in the real world. It's filled with applications. So here you see some of the applications that you get. And you see it tells you where to find those applications. It gives you the page numbers. So you have applications to business and economics. You don't really see a lot of this in regular calculus books. So that's what makes, again, this a very, very special book. My copy is actually damaged. It got wet. I don't know how it got wet. Uh, I bought it used, and that's how it came. But it's still a functional copy, and I can still use it to solve math problems, right? Tons of topics here, right? All kinds of things that you can use mathematics for. Yeah, tons of stuff. And it's continued here. There's even more. Social and behavioral science. And then here we have physical sciences. And there's more applications on the back flap here. You can see here there's a couple more. Continued from front end sheets. Plenty, plenty of mathematics. Let's take a careful look at the contents of this book so you can see exactly what it contains. Ron Larson, there he is, the legend. And then here's a look at the contents of this book. So it starts with a, a pre-calc review. So technically pre-calculus is a prereq for this, but if you know some algebra, I say jump in. Worst case scenario, you're not gonna understand. And honestly, if you know pre-calc, you're still gonna run into situations where you don't understand. It's mathematics, it's normal to get stuck, so it's just expected. Functions, graphs, and limits, that's typically where a Calc 1 course would start. And again, it's everything except the trig. So you get the same content you would in a regular calculus class, except no trig. Differentiation, super important. This has all of the key techniques that you would learn in a Calculus 1 class. By the way, who would use this in college? Typically, uh, people who are business majors. So if you take a business calculus class, typically this is what you would use for a class like that. And those classes are easier than regular calculus classes because there's no trig, so it is a little bit easier. Applications of the derivative, really important stuff. Exponential and logarithmic functions integration and its applications. This is all still uh, Calc 1 material here. Techniques of integration. Here is where you start to get into Calculus 2. And then here you have some Calculus 3 topics, functions of several variables. And then here you finally have the trig function. So it does introduce trig, so you can actually learn all of this math without knowing any trig. So if you don't know trig, in theory, in theory, you could you could use this to start learning trigonometry. So it's kind of cool that you can do all of this calculus, you know, with no trig. Now, once they introduce trig, they talk a little bit about probability in calculus, and then you get to series and Taylor polynomials. This is Calc 2, and then you have some answers. Let's jump to chapter 10, which is on page 662. Let's take a look at that. So chapter 10, uh, for me, is a very interesting chapter. Uh, this is uh, where you do series, and series are studied in Calculus 2 and are considered to be by many people uh, some, one of the hardest subjects. And you can see here, even though it introduced trig, you don't really see any trig here. That's what I wanted to show you. There's not really uh, much trig here. Now let's look at Power Series and Taylor's Theorem. Typically in a regular calculus book, you have some trig here, but again, uh, not seeing any trigonometry here. So pretty independent uh, of trig, but it does have, you know, that chapter on trig that you can use to learn trig. So how do you use this book? Well, if you're using it to supplement your course in calculus in college, basically what you can do is you can do additional problems from this book. And the exercise selection in this book is excellent. Let's look at 
1.6, which is continuity. And you can see here, you can see here that there's a lot of exercises, right? Tons of problems that you can do. And a lot of these, you know, you would see in regular Calc 1 books. For example, these are a little bit harder. They're actually pretty easy, but when you're first learning, they're actually pretty challenging. Uh, typically, this is something that I would put on a Calc 1 test. So it's kind of cool that you see it in this book. Yeah, good stuff, right? Lots of mathematics. Then what you can do is you can check your answers in the back of the book. You don't have all the answers, but you have a lot of them. Uh, this author calls them answers to selected exercises. So you get some of the answers. Looks like the odds here, but in some cases you might get extra ones. For example, here you get 20, 21, 22. Uh, that's because it's the quiz. So you'll get all of those answers there for the quiz. And then for the skills review, you'll get all of the answers as well. So there's a mix of odd and all the answers, which is kind of nice, making this a really, really good book for self-study. You can see my copy is wet. That's how it came. That's one of the chances you take when you buy used books. By the way, I'll leave a link in the description to this book in case you want to check it out and get a copy for yourself. But yeah, great book for self-study. Really good for people who are in a calc class and want to supplement what they're learning now. Also, it's really good for people who want to learn calculus and don't know trig. And even if you know trig, it's still a good book to learn calculus from because it is a little bit more gentle than a regular calculus book. So a regular calculus book is going to be slightly harder uh, than this one. Also, this has applications. So if you're interested in learning you know, some mathematics applications, this one is filled with applications. You'll also get applications in this book that you won't find in regular books. Like if you look at Larson's regular book on calculus, you're not going to find a lot of the applications that you find in this book. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this book. It's not a very popular book, I think. I mean, well, eighth edition, so I guess it is, but it's not popular in the sense that there's more regular calculus classes than there are classes that use this book. For example, if you're in a college, uh, a fairly large college, there might be, I don't know, I'll just throw out a number, maybe eight sections of Calc 1 like in, in some big school, and maybe one or two sections of you know a business Calc class that uses this because less people uh, take courses using books like this. These courses are designed for people who are going into business. And so sometimes they require a calc class and this would be a book that you would use if you're one of those people. But that doesn't mean that if you're not a business major, you can't use this. In fact, I think this book is super beneficial because it gives you different types of problems, different types of exercises. And again, it's a little bit easier than a regular calculus book. So yeah, pretty awesome. If you want to learn calculus, by the way, I actually have courses too. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. However, uh, if you get them, um, please use... If you want to learn calculus, I do have courses. They are on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you decide to check them out, please use the links from my website because one, I lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So when you use my links, you should get a really low price. And two, it helps me greatly. So yeah, I have courses on Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, differential equations, etc. So check them out, mathsorcerer.com. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. The key takeaway you should get from this video is that this is not just like a regular calculus book. It's a special calculus book. It's filled with applications. It's intended for business majors, so it's got a lot of business applications. It's easier, in my opinion, much easier than a regular calculus book, making it a very, very good choice for self-study. And it's also an excellent supplement because it has so many exercises and you get tons of answers. So nice book. I don't think I've ever talked about this book. And I thought, let me just make a quick video to show you this book because it's pretty cool. Larson Calculus, an Applied Approach. And this is the eighth edition. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.